They can't kill GTU. They can't kill GTU. You take away the Jews. They can't kill GTU. You take away the Jews. They can't kill GTU. You take away the Jews. You can't kill GTU. You take away the Jews. You can't kill GTU. You free what you do. You can't kill GTU. You take away the Jews. You can't kill GTU. You can't kill GTU. You can't kill GTU. No matter what you do, you can't kill GTU. No matter what you do, will start and this is no threat this is what we are saying we will close all of the schools across this country because this is high class wickedness if you are not oppressors then you will give us what we want but the PPP government is a bunch of oppressors they always feel that they can trample on the rights of people and you know what these are the very people who were shouting in Parliament during the David Granger's of, um, administration that collective bargaining must be returned to the table. And now that they're in government, they have returned to their old selves, oppressors, a set of oppressors. But you take away the Jews, MMG will work. 
you can't match GTU no matter what you do. We have been in existence for over 125 years. You can't do us anything. You take away the Jews? You take away the Jews? Maria, what you do? Anything you do? You take away the Jews? Because GTU is strong. Ms. McDonald, yesterday the, the Minister of Labor as well as the Minister of Education indicated that teachers would be penalized for engaging in this strike action, uh, a possibility of losing their salaries or part thereof. What's the union position on this? And the magnitude of the strike, uh, they're reporting that just a few teachers protested, uh, strike, uh, took strike action, and that a large number of schools remained open. What's your take on those two particular issues? Well, let me say to you that Number one, the, no government will come out there to say that any worker's strike is legal. None of them will do that. Whether in Guyana, in the Caribbean, or further afield, none of them will come out to say that they are doing wrong, and that is what would have caused teachers' union or any other workers' union to strike. So we, we throw that in the garbage bin from Joseph Hamilton, uh, Hamilton. Sorry. As a matter of fact, Joseph Hamilton doesn't even know where he is because he is making statements like the GTU is threatening teachers that they are going to fire them. Since when the GTU would have been endowed with that kind of authority? We don't have that kind of authority so clearly. Joseph Hamilton's place is at home in a rocking chair because he has outlived this usefulness. Secondly, for the strike to be illegal, it means that we were not doing anything at all. But since we were engaging the Ministry of Education, as well as the Ministry of Labor, as well as the Office of the President, and all the talks failed, we wrote the Ministry of Labor asking for conciliation. They ignored us. We wrote them asking for um, arbitration. They ignored us. Now you tell me, why would we be writing for these processes to be kicked in? if we were still talking. So we understand how the PPP like to coin their language and twist it to suit themselves. But the people, the people of Guyana are not fooled. The people of Guyana will not be fooled. You can fool some of the people, but you can't fool all the people. And that is what is catching up with them at this time. With regards to the um, action of uh, deducting money from teachers' salaries. We know from ever of old, in Guyana, in the Caribbean, all over, as long as workers are on strike, wicked governments would want to deduct the teachers' pay or other workers' pay. And we have had enough time to sit and look at all of these issues because we know the devils we are playing with. So we sat and we organized and we put systems in place because we know as long as our teachers come out here, they will want to cut the teachers' salaries. So systems are in place to deal with our teachers and to compensate them for whatever money that they're going to lose. How will this directly affect the union as a whole? I mean, the union functions are Jews from the teachers. How will this directly affect the union? Well, cutting the teachers' salary will not affect the union. As a matter of fact, the union has various ways and means of, of getting funding. As we speak, if you if you were looking not too long, you recognize that persons are coming and they are dropping monies in our hands. And so the union will survive. The Guyana Teachers Union has been in existence for over 135 years. And this is not the first time we're having a strike. I remember in 2003 when we had one of the most one of the largest strikes when we had that on the Sydney murder. The same thing they did they, they stopped they, they stopped remitting the Jews to the, deducting the Jews and remitting to the union and we paid our our teachers then much more now in 2024 you think we can't afford to pay our members we will afford to pay our members as a matter of fact if you heard the chants coming from our members there they're saying when you stop deducting the Jews MMG will work so I mean, it's not going, it, it might slow up the process for maybe a month or so, but it's not going to kill the GTU. The GTU is in partnership with one of the largest teachers training, teachers union in this world. 
Education International. And that body, because we are affiliated to them, we are going to get even more support for them. Our teachers unions in the Afri South in Africa, they are ready and willing to support the Guyana Teachers Union and any other teachers union across this, this um, the Caribbean and elsewhere. So the Ministry of Education and by extension the government can continue to deploy their wicked and vindictive ways, but we will survive. Mr. President, what do you make of the reasons that we advanced the letter to the President of the Union about uh, the withdrawal of the agency shop wage? It is nothing strange, like I said. They have done that before, and so we're not surprised by that action. And again, the U in the union is what makes us strong, so we'll continue to stand strong. Besides things like politicization, threats, all... I don't think you expect them to say anything different. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. And so, you, you heard it from the GTU um, General Secretary Quetta McDonald. They've taken away the Jews, and uh, to try and to stifle the 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 you know the work of the GTU. You have Nima Flubes, honourable member of Parliament, and also a teacher as well, who will be who's on the line. Ms. Bess, your thoughts on all the developments so far with the government, we, 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 what the government trying now to take away the Jews from the teachers, saying it's illegal, legal strike. Your thoughts on all of this? Well, my thoughts about this entire process, the Ministry of Education and Government by extension continues to demonstrate that they are bullies, or they think they are bullies. Um, if you cannot stand up and speak for your right in this country, then we support us for us having a constitution that speaks to freedom and rights as citizens of this country. As a teacher, I can tell you of the many challenges personally I've encountered along with my colleagues. I'm a teacher of sports, as you know, and many times I have to be complaining about the condition of my field is not well kept. Ministry policy of cleaning the field once or twice in term, when we got grass growing all the time, it means it hinders the child's play space, you're able to carry out your function as a, as a teacher, you're not able to do that. Now the new grants that they're touting, touting, touting all about, they're not telling people about all the stress that teachers have to go through to go and get a quotation, to spend a little bit money. When they send the money now, you ask, you said, you know, your department X, Y, and Z. There's a whole list of those where you can't get from this money. So what exactly is the purpose? What exactly is the purpose? What is it that you're trying to, to get fixed? You know, these are things that we have to address. Teachers are in schools where the chairs are not in good condition. I'm at the school where my chair is not in good condition. I have been just in two positions because of my back. And I've spoken about it and seem to fall on deaf ears. And just like me, I have colleagues at other schools who are purchasing their own chairs to sit on. And this is so disrespectful. Why is it that you cannot take care of the needs of the teachers? who are working in the school to teach and educate our children. It's a lot of sacrifice. I heard them attacking me, but I'm waiting patiently on them. All my years in teaching, I've never had any bad record. I've always stand up for my right. I have a right to. If the teachers are comfortable, the students will even be more comfortable. We go above and beyond just the classroom to ensure that our students are properly catered for and they're taken care of. We have many times, even now, you have to put your hands in pocket to assess students. Where these ministry officials be? They tell you that they implement programs. You talk about the feeding program that they talk to be provided to the children. Many times teachers have to step in because some of the things they bring in make no sense, you know. And so when we speak, I look at the number of things that people are saying. This is not about the students. This is about the teachers. Our rights, we have rights. Just like our students, we have rights. And we have a right to speak up. This government needs to engage our union. Sending a letter to say that they don't recognize our union goes to show undemocratic. This PPPC government is their wicked. 
and people need to come out and speak out again, said, because they're talking about all these things, the care. And you see that these said government officials put our children in harm, that they continue to have dirty and stinking cactus around our children. They're not doing anything about that. So fix it right. I am calling on the government this morning to ensure that they engage our union and ensure that we are properly compensated. We're not asking for anything that we don't deserve. We are asking to be comfortable and I will continue to stand with my colleagues and call for us to be compensated fairly. I stand with my union. We will continue to stand with our union. They would have done it before where they stopped taking out union drones. Jews, they did not kill the union. And if you go wrong that step again, it goes to show your mind bad, the stink and dirty. And you got to get it right. We will stand with our union. GTU will forever be around, no, no matter what it is. But when Gao strike, they get everything. Yes. And, they don't, and the Jews are not taken out. They're totally disrespectful. I'm calling on parents and citizens in this nation. Come out and join the strike. Shut down all the schools. Let them engage. They're disrespectful. Totally disrespectful to people. Look at the, the sacrifice we make every day for our students. You think it's something that people want to see that their students are not successful? All the success they like to talk about and celebrate. All the great acts. The Honorable Minister, how much he really put into it. Many times his teachers go an extra mile to ensure that those students are successful. And we don't even get the acknowledgement of it. We don't get the acknowledgement of it. So we write, we call in just yesterday. We want you to engage our union. We deserve better. We must get better. We're in a nation where we have a lot of money now. With the oil, it's time that our teachers enjoy it too. Thank you. Thank you. Name of Rubeth there, the teacher, a sport teacher, and I'm um, also very vocal and believe that teachers' rights must be respected. So, more teachers are coming out this morning, teachers from coming from all over the, the city, over the river as well. Your thoughts are on this on this strike. I mean, I mean that um, the GW is in the solidarity with the union. We are feeling like everyone else the challenges that that the teachers are facing. The General Workers Union represents other batches of workers, and we are all, and they are also affected by the actions and the decisions that the government is making. Six point five percent to everybody is nothing at all when the market prices are, are more than more than 32 percent increase so we are coming out here with the teachers and we also feel that we're the that the trade union motto in unity there is strength so all the unions should be outside here supporting te teachers union so the government will know that this is not only for teachers this is for all the people and all the working people of here. so you're calling on the nurses association as well again the public other, service all the other all the unions you're calling on join the Guyana. protest all the other unions in Guyana to come out here and support because all of their all of all the workers in Guyana and pensioners too are, are affected by the decisions that the government is making. We need to let them know. That we, 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 we've been quiet for too long. It's high time we start making our voices on it. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much.
know what we forget. But now we find the president, it seems like he forget. When Ali was the president, he know what we forget. But now we turn the president, it seems like he forget. When Ali was the president, he know what we forget. But now we turn the president, it seems like he forget. Ali was the president, he know what he forget. But now we turn the president, it seems like he forget. When Ali was the president, he know what he forget. But now we turn the president, it seems like he forget. When Ali was the president, he know what he forget. But now we turn the president, it seems like he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he forget. When Ali was the president, he knew what he
you know, I don't want to hear anything about depoliticizing it. And this is an issue that affects the lives not only of the teachers, but their families also, and even the community as a whole. So I am in support of them today. We have also recently heard that the government has withdrew its Jews from the union. That is, a, that is very striking and goes to the core of the government's, you know, mindset. I didn't get that. The government has withdrew the Jews from the union. Your thoughts on that? What do you think about that? Well, that in itself is, is I mean, how low can a government go to, to, to withdraw its Jews from, from union? Uh, but you know, teachers will not stop. We will not stop as teachers. When they go low, teachers will go high. high. And I can say that for teachers in Region 7, you would have heard of the teacher strike in Baltica. And of course, the teachers are organizing themselves to, to also protest during this week in the Upper Mazuni. So it is not only in Baltica, but in all over. And I stand in solidarity with the teachers throughout Guyana. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. That's Dawn Hastings Williams, a retired teacher. She's an MP. She's also the general secretary for the PNC, and she's out there not to deal with politics, but to support and be in solidarity with the teachers who herself once was a teacher. But as we always say, once a teacher, always a teacher. So if you're just joining us, we are here on Brick Dam, where there is an industrial strike by the Gan Teachers Union calling for the Minister of Education to come to the table and to sit down and talk with teachers as to the benefits and the bargaining that they have self-committed to to do then they were out of office now they are in and now they are singing a different tune and that's what you call what, not keeping your own word now so here we are the crowd is building up the crowd is building up here on the brick dam if you look across the road, you will see the Ministry of Education right there. There are officers here just watching on, not intimidating anyone, not stopping anyone. They're just watching on and keeping in sure everything is in order. And the teachers chanting with their placards. I have Collis here with us as well. He's also a teacher, also one of the vice presidents of the union and also is coming for the East Coast area. Give us your thoughts what's happening on the East Coast right now. Is, is, is teachers in school, are they protesting, are they striking, are they sitting in, staying at home, what's going on? So, correction, I'm the regional vice president, Demerara, of the Guyana right. Teachers Union. So the entire county of Demerara, the teachers that fall under the county of Demerara, is my, um, those are my constituents. Mm -hmm. When it comes to the East Coast, 80% of our schools are closed. 80%? 80% of our schools are closed because we would have gathered data from our general council representatives from each of the branches on the East Coast and those, the information we would have got will give us that percentage. And if you recognize, while some of them are not here, many of them are at home. And that is a signal to say that they are fed up, that they would like to be remunerated properly. And so our demands, like I would have said in a voice so this morning, are our livelihood, our bread and butter issues that should be met. You heard that the, that the government has decided to take away the Jews from the union. Do you think they will ever come to the table and talk with the union and, you know, try to solve this matter? Or is it vindictiveness in the government to say, here, y'all could do what we want. 
If the government truly cares about teachers, they will immediately call us to the table, have candid discussion that will seek to inform information and for us to come to a resolution. Having sent a letter by the Permanent Secretary to the President of Guyana Teachers Union that speaks to immediately discontinue the Jews from our teacher is an act of vindictiveness. We, we, we don't expect anything better because we understand the, clim the, uh, the conditions of which this government worked with and so we were prepared and we were ready for that. But that in itself would not deter us from doing what we are doing. It would not deter the teachers, as a matter of fact, from having this demonstration and for the call of industrial action. I know your strike is placard and standing up and shouting to the Minister of Education office, but is there any other method of striking action you're about to take that will push this government to come to the bargaining table? So, so Andrew, we have a number of um, plans in place, of which I will not disclose. Because in any industrial action we call, the union would have its, its activities that it will do. But of course, I would not share that at this point in time. But the strike continues, and strike you're here for the long haul. Educators, it is your right, your democratic right to be a part of a union, your right to, have in, to be a part of industrial action. And we are not forcing anyone. We are not forcing our teachers to do anything against their will. The teachers have the right, they want to be a part of the union, and the union would have called for an industrial action, and hence we are here. For those teachers who may not be, you know, not, you know, may not want to come out to this strike, but they've been thinking about the intimidation that they'll get from their, their, their leaders in those communities that are intimidating them from not coming on the strike and in solidarity with those teachers. What are your thoughts? Who would you like to say to them who are watching right now? Do not be dismayed. Whatever measure of success is garnered from this industrial action, it will not only benefit the financial members of the Guyana Teachers Union, but all teachers in the land of Guyana. So, whether they, they, there are some teachers who will not support, we okay with that. There are teachers who will support, we also okay with that. Because at the end of the day, whatever measure of success is given, every teacher will get. That's, thank you, sir. Thank you. The Regional Vice President Demorara, Mr. Collis Nichols, Nicholson is here on the particular line as well, along with the General Secretary and other executive members of the Megantiches Union. We should see the President of the Union sometime coming. I think he's on his way, but the crowd is getting bigger. It's getting bigger, it's getting bigger, it's, getting bigger. it's growing. And what you can do for us online is share the, share the tech, share the view, share the link. Share the link, pass the link around in your groups, uh, you know, among yourselves and your community. Those WhatsApp groups that you're a part of, those Facebook groups that you're a part of. Share the link. Let them know that teachers are on strike across the country. We are here at the headquarters of the Ministry of Education on Big Dam. And they're quiet. Those are shut tight. Windows are locked. No one is coming out to say... Let's talk. The teachers are going to be shouting out every single day, calling for their benefits. On the picket line, which area are you from? Which one of the schools you taught? You're teaching right now. Christ Church Secondary. Christ Church Secondary. What are your thoughts of this, of this protest? Are you are you satisfied with what the government is doing to teachers in this country? No, not at all. Not at all. What would you like to see done? What more would you like to see done for teachers in Ghana? Sorry. What more would you like to see done 
for we teachers. We rely salary benefits because it takes a long while for us to see these non-salary benefits. Mm -hmm. So they're just dragging their feet and saying that the union hasn't been to collective bargaining. So then if they're taking all this time, then we must do something as a union. So I hope our voices are being heard. It's for a just cause. This is not in political. This is about teachers. It's about our bread and butter issue. So that's what I feel about. Thank you, sir. Yes. It's about the ability to feed our families and to send our children to school and to educate them well. That's all we're out here about. So don't try to make it political. Don't try to make it about race. We are not about that. In schools, we have children of various ethnicity in our classroom and we love all of them the same. So I don't know where race comes into play. It's, 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 it's far from that. Would you call on other unions to come and support you? Oh yes, it, I mean that should be the implied because it's not just the teachers alone um, who are suffering. All right, remember the nurses, the 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 the, 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 the military. All right, everybody is suffering in this country, and all the unions need to come out and join together. We are the people who hold the power. You understand? We elect government and we can move them out of office. And all we're asking for, the through the government of the day, treat the citizen fairly, treat the citizen equitably, pay us a Jew that we can live on. All right, that's all we're asking for. You have oil, so you can pay. I mean, you boast about the fastest rising economy. You just um, unraveled a 1.146 trillion budget. What is it? What is in the budget? What is in it for the for, for the teachers, for the public servants? What is it in there for us? And so all we're asking is for you to consider your human resource, which is very important. That's what you need to do. Are you all disappointed that they took away the Jews from the union? Oh, I, I mean, this government cannot um, sound any more than this. And I'm saying that if you're going to take away that service, from the teachers union, that you need to take away the same from GRA. We both of um, us paying PAYE, do the same to NIS, do the same to DPF. And Gawu. Huh? And Gawu too. And exactly, and all the other unions. Alright, so it cannot be selective, and that's this government's um, mantra. It's about selective um, prosecution. Right? What goes for one goes for all. We're all in this together. Thank you, sir.
giving you a wide shot there of the protest action by the Ghana Teachers Union and uh, the crowd is building up here on uh, Brick Dam in Georgetown, Guyana. If you're joining us from around the world, uh, this is what's happening in Guyana right now. There is an industrial strike by the Ghana Teachers Union. Teachers all across the country are on strike action. Most of them in region 1 to 10 are standing right now at their respective Ministry of Education offices doing the same thing that you're seeing right now and if you go on social media we'll see strike actions in Bartica in region 2 in region 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 all across the country and the teachers are saying that this industrial action will continue until the government decides to meet with them and sit down and have frank and honest and open discussion on the the, 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 the remunerations for teachers and other benefits that they themselves have agreed to had agreed to and now they are reneging on those agreements so the strike is going to be continuous day two of the GTU strike and uh, this is going to be bigger and it's going to grow it's going to grow we are also going to be seeing maybe very soon the other unions coming out as well calling for, for benefits as well that is it the nurses could come out as well and say look we also but we know what's going on in those hospitals nurses are leaving the, the profession and going to other countries doctors are leaving there are some hospitals do not have enough staff to man those wards very soon you might see the nurses out there as well and if you don't realize that there are strike action going on even in britain right now right now in britain there are industrial actions taking place in terms of teacher strike nurses strike railway strike happening also in the uk and other parts of the world so and a country like guyana that has its ability to serve its people to pay its people with oil and gas they just passed a one point something trillion dollars budget and the majority of that money has gone into infrastructure could you imagine that infrastructure is like what the honorable um Kemraj ramjitan said it is a sand and cement government sand and cement government that is why the teachers are out here calling for their benefits this will affect a number of homes across this country parents have to take other measures to secure their children to put their children in safe environment while they go to work this will going to be effective whether the government like it or not it's going to bite and it's going to bite big so there is the the Ghana edu the education department here headquarters quiet you look you're gonna see all the windows are locked I, uh, doors are shut the only person you see actually moving around like every 10 minutes are staff from the other office over there what maybe they're peeping through some window or something looking at the strike you know the minister office is right up there at the top she's not here all because I continue in the chants they continue with their placards saying teachers just want to have fun but they want to have fun with a good pay they're saying they're calling on prayer that they're not backing down even the folks in their cars are showing solidarity to the teachers They're even giving water to the police officers there. Take the water. Come on. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. 
help. I took one too, you see, watch, watch. Uh, I'm taking one. All right, I'll tell you what, we're gonna take a break and we're gonna come right back as more of the teacher's strike continues here on Brick Dam, just across from the Ministry of Education, right over there. Stay with us, we're gonna be right back.